Hello and good morning, it's Phil Thatch, and today I'm out in the back porch blind. I got out here before sunrise. I got up early this morning and just went ahead and set up, and it's sun is rising right now, and I'm hoping to see some bird activity soon. Today I'm using my Nikon Z8 for the first time ever in the blind, using the Nikon Z8, and I have my old, very old, 70-200 f 2.8 g vr2 an old f mount lens not even the latest f mount 70 to 200 2.8 one prior to the latest i've got my 1.4 teleconverter on there you may be able to see that and of course i have the ftz2 adapter to make all that stuff work that'll give me 280 millimeters which i'm about 10 feet away from my perches so that should be enough and hopefully i'll get some bird activity soon share some pictures with you let's see as I point at the nearest perch I'm at 1 160th wide open at f4 and that gives me 2000 ISO so it should be enough light now when I first came out here I was at 140th and my ISO was 25,600 so I got out here when it was dark but anyhow let's see what I can get in the blind this morning I think today is September the 1st I get married this month. My first visitor this morning was a Carolina Wren. Still pretty dark, but I managed to get a few shots of it, I think. Here's my first Carolina Wren shot. This is 280 millimeters, which all the photos today will be 280 millimeters. That's the 200 millimeter lens with a 1.4 teleconverter, 280 millimeters and F4. This one is 1 1 60th of a second ISO 1600. And it is a pretty photograph, but it's just not sharp enough. It's not to my standard of sharpness that I like to have. And I think a lot of that is because the teleconverter degrades the quality of the image. And then after that, I still had to crop these quite a bit. And even though the Z8 is a really high resolution camera, if you're degrading the image with a teleconverter, and then degrading it more by heavily cropping it. You're just not going to have extremely sharp results. Still a pretty picture. And here is another photograph of a Carolina Wren that is struggling from the exact same problems as the first one. There may even be a little bit of motion blur in these first two shots because I'm only at 1 1 60th of a second. Not a lot happening this morning. It's about an hour later since I got the Carolina Wren shots and I did get a female Northern Cardinal all the way back in the Leland Cypress, which would be fine if I had my 600 millimeter lens on here, but 70 to 200 with a 1.4 teleconverter is only 280. So that's gonna be pretty small in the frame. And a couple of house finches have showed up. Not much. Here's the Northern Cardinal in the Leland Cypress. This one is a long way away, cropped quite a bit, but it's a larger bird, so it's not cropped way more than the other ones. This is 1 500th and ISO 1000. And this actually happened later in the day. The bird came back and landed in this same spot. I didn't like the earlier shot, but this one later in the day was a little bit better. So I decided to share this one with you. Finally, a tufted titmouse showed up. So that was cool. Got a shot of the tufted titmouse, pretty sure. Here's the tufted titmouse. And I had been looking at the back of the camera and thinking, man, these photos are just not sharp enough. And I increased my shutter speed all the way up to 1 400th for this one. Plus there was some more light, so that helped. So this might be a little bit sharper than the Carolina Wren shots, but it's still got the same problems. It's still got the teleconverter degrading the image and the excessive cropping degrading the image. And both of those combined to make this photograph not very sharp. It is a cute little bird, though. I'm very happy to have been able to photograph this bird, but I probably should have used my 180 to 600 and then I would have had a little bit more noise but Topaz Denoise AI can kind of clean that up so it was probably a mistake today using the 70 to 200 lens with the teleconverter. The next bird that showed up was a Carolina chickadee and I think I got a decent shot I'm not sure it might look a slight bit out of focus on the back of the camera it's hard to tell with my old eyes but I'll be able to tell when I get it inside on a bigger screen. Here's a Carolina chickadee shot that I like, but it's also soft for the same reasons. And here is another Carolina chickadee shot. This one's not quite as bad, but it's still a little on the soft side. 
Beautiful bird, though. I'm always happy when they come to the back porch. This one is one five hundredth of a second at 1600 ISO, and that first one was one four hundredth of a second at 1000 ISO. Well, I just got a picture of a male northern cardinal, kind of an ugly one this time of year, late summer. There's a lot of molting going on, and they're just not as pretty. But at least I got the shot, because it has definitely been a struggle to find birds this morning. Here's the final shot of the day. This one's 1 500th and ISO 400. This is probably the best shot of the day in terms of sharpness, but the molting northern cardinal is pretty ugly, as you can see but at least the quality of the image is pretty good. Next time I'll use the 180 to 600. I have definitely learned from my mistakes I made today trying out this 70 to 200 with 1.4 teleconverter combination. Well, it has been a struggle today, not because of the camera, just not many subjects showing up to be photographed. Not a lot of light either, 100% overcast today. That's why I went with a fast lens today this f4 combination of the 2.8 lens and the 1.4 teleconverter. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. That helps me out a lot. And hopefully in the next video, I'll get more birds. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.